What is the email? Yes. 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 I can see you. So good okay. afternoon. How are you doing today? Good afternoon, madam. I am doing well. Going great. How how are you? How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I had a hectic morning, so I have a function to attend after this session. So that's going on with me right now. So please introduce yourself. Yeah, my name is Subhash Pal. I live in Guwahati. It is in the state of Assam. Here I am working in a central government office for my living, and I like to speak uh, English. That's why I am learning on various platforms this language. This is my only habit, and for that I read book also, and watch uh, YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. And I also like to watch cricket matches. It is another one habit, and I like to travel also. So these are the things that I like to do. Thank you, ma'am. So uh, may I know about you, please, ma'am? Definitely, yes. So you already know my name. My name is Shanta. I am working as a spoken English trainer. I work for a platform called In Talky. So I live in Karnataka, which is in South India. And um, very recently, I've started my YouTube channel also. So during my free time, I am working on my YouTube channel. And uh, uh, according to my academic credentials, I have completed my engineering, Bachelor of Engineering in the stream of computer science. And I have worked as a software engineer after my college. So that's pretty much about me. I don't like traveling. <laughs> I don't okay. like the traveling part, but I just want to, you know, suddenly land in the place. I don't like the traveling the thing. Yeah. The journey that the journey you don't like. I don't like the journey. Speak. Yes. Okay, okay. So is there any because I have a thing of you know? Yes, because I have a kind of motion sickness. So okay. I feel terrible when I travel and when I arrive, I need one day to recover from it. So I would think like one day goes waste. I can't go out or visit some places. Maybe because you know I have lack of practice of traveling. Also, usually I travel to very short distances, a couple of hours to three hours distances. So uh, it's my dream to visit North India. There is so much in India that I have not explored. So I want to go north side, explore. I want to go to north east. I want to go to a lot of places, but that will require a lot of traveling from my end. So I'm not, you know, mentally prepared for that. So maybe in the future. But uh, there are some people who also have this kind of trouble when they take uh, journey. But in your case, uh, any mode of uh, traveling, like it's a road, by a train, in any mode that you find it is very difficult for you to take the journey? Yes, I, I find it very difficult through road, especially road, sitting in a car or traveling by vehicle. I feel that is very uncomfortable. Train is pretty OK because, you know, I usually prefer trains which are, you know, uh, start in the night and land in the morning. So because we get to rest throughout the journey and you don't realize it. And one more thing is that I have kids who are small. So, you know, I cannot take care of myself first. I need to take care of them, address all their needs. So that becomes a little hectic for me. So I'm just waiting for them to grow up and take care of themselves. So maybe I might feel better in the future. So as you have just mentioned that you like to travel uh, at night. So do you get the good sleep when you travel by train at night? No, no. <laughs> just, you know, I feel the turbulence all the time. So maybe yes. a couple of hours. But it's just that you're lying down and having rest. So that thing. Yeah, yeah. What about so you? It, yeah, I like to travel, as I already mentioned. And initially, yes. I had a fear of uh, traveling by air. So that was very, uh, I mean, I never thought that I would ever fly. So once so happened that there were so many uh, my colleagues and they insisted that now you have to go by air. They insisted me that we are there. You don't fear about that. So I took that journey. After that, now I have come a bit comfortable when I take air journey also. There is no problem. Mm -hmm. It is uh, by rail, by road, by plane. I have no trouble at all. I can take very down. nice. Do you feel that discomfort in your ears when you travel for the first time through air? Yeah, that discomfort is there, but that can be, uh, we can take bearable. in stride, bearable. But mm. the thing is that the tension that I get uh, 
kind of uneasiness Take off. what will happen that's <laughs> fear psychosis like this yes yes the the take off kind of gives butterflies in your tummy when you are just you know yeah. going high in the sky so and, many negative uh, things uh, come <laughs> yeah so many what negative things you know, comes to our yes. mind Yes, <laughs> we are in the air, and what if we have a blast or something, you know? And my yeah. major drawback is I get that ear pain when I don't know if you have heard about it or ever experienced it. I get a lot of ear pain, especially when we are about to land or if it is a long flight. Very, very unbearable kind of pain in my ear. So uh, even after landing, I need to do some facial exercises like um, open up, and you know. it's like chat chat that thing from me yeah. in the ear i i suffer a lot because of that okay okay but that used to happen initially after having you know five or six flights that gradually reduced so yeah i'm yeah, comfortable now with it kind of used to it yes yes first time i was literally crying why is this happening but then i realized it happens to a lot of people and what you can initially do is you can just ask for earbuds before the take off and just keep it in your ear throughout the flight so that helped yeah, me yeah, yeah mm-hmm. i have seen some of the passengers do that especially children they start crying before the landing because of the ear <laughs> pain okay yes and what tell me which is the most memorable trip of your life the best place you have visited best place uh, maybe this uh, srinagar Srinagar may stand out among all the places oh, that I visited. Definitely. And other than that, I can also mention about Goa. Also, I like and Andaman and Nicobar. Also, there is something different. One is hilly place. Mm. One is a coastal area. So this. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but Andaman from, and Goa both are. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm from Karnataka. Yeah, I was saying uh, Goa and Andaman both are coastal areas, right? You have water there. Yes. Yes. Hmm. Right. Yes, I belong to Karnataka. Okay. So you live in uh, mm. Bengaluru? No, I don't live in Bengaluru. I live in a place called Raichur. It's a tier two right. city, not that famous for anything. But I have settled here with my husband and family. Okay. Okay. Mm. So you have all mentioned. I just uh, heard that you take classes on this platform called Ink Talkie. Yes. Even now, also you're taking classes. Yes, even now I'm taking. It's been close to four to five months that I've been working with Ink Talkie. Okay, okay. Uh, I also took some sessions with the tutors of Ink Talkie, but at that time you were not there. That's why I don't remember. Yes, yes. Maybe in the past you took, but yeah, I yeah. Uh, joined recently, just four to five months ago. Yeah, yeah. Before that, yes. Hmm. All right. So, what is your passion with the English language? there is no region ma'am actually because uh, i don't find any region that the only thing that i love this language and when i see the people speak so fluently i also want to speak like them that is the only region and i feel a bit uh, confident and a kind of a smart person when the people are look uh, people look very smart when they speak in english that also attracts me so if i could speak like them that is there yes Yes, and it is also a thing that you take, uh, you know, air journey most some of the time. You travel through flight, so I would say it is a necessity if you are traveling by flight. You should be knowing English, right, in order to interact with the staff, because that's the first language everyone speaks. Yes, yes, and that gives us some kind of comfortable also when I need something and I can uh, call the crew member and ask for that one. Yes. 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 Yes, and sometimes the crew members are so rude. You know, I've experienced a couple <laughs> of times. You know, they are Is quite it? rude. Yeah, sometimes I I experience this during long flights. They're not very friendly, especially when you're traveling with a child. They're not understanding, and uh, yeah, a couple of them. But I've traveled a lot of times. But two or three times I've experienced they're not very cooperative. Okay, okay. I have I haven't had any such experience till now. I'm lucky. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not. i wouldn't say it is usual for them to be like that but sometimes it happens people you know there are a lot all the kinds of people everywhere wherever you go so i had to encounter some rude people also in the journey okay so what mm-hmm. were you what was your reaction when they say something you did not like you just kept 
silent or you also reacted like i no i just kept silent because i had a toddler with me and i didn't want to you know elevate the issue any further so my daughter was only she was not even 2 years old so handling her was all, already a lot of pressure for me so then having to talk with them or have a banter with them i was not in mood for that it was a night flight so i just kept quiet i just waited for the journey to finish that's it maybe if i was single it would have been different but in that situation i preferred to be quiet okay so it is nice mm-hmm. actually because when we uh, react with say, if says somebody says something it always mm-hmm. we always carry that incident in our head and that disturb us and if we can let yes. it go initially mm-hmm. it is peaceful for us because uh, when we carry such incidents uh, it disturb us not the person that who actually started all this thing he is uh, right. quite okay but we are carrying and we are we suffer a lot yeah it is it is an unnecessary tension you carry that baggage even after the journey is over and it stays with you like a bad memory so i just let it go yeah that's a nice thing to do i agree mm-hmm. with that i like yes so you read books do you have any recommendations for me because i i love reading books i used to love reading books but not anymore but uh, which is the best book that you have read and do, do you want to recommend me something i actually read me like to read this uh, self help books so okay. if i mention about this self help book one is you might have also read that one it is atomic habit that was a very good book that i read yes have you read yeah, that yeah but i haven't unfortunately you know i am uh, the genre of books that i am interested in self help motivation spiritual these don't come in my list oh. i like reading only i like re- reading only novels and i'm kind of addicted to it like i'm watching a movie i just want to finish the entire book i have a lot okay, of fantasy okay. towards reading books but novels it can be any kind thriller romantic drama whatever but it should have a story the self uh, self help books are a bit you know boring for me i tend to <laughs> feel sleepy or i do not read more than one page or two maybe that phase of life i am in maybe when i grow older i like them but since yes, my childhood yes. i am i am exactly. into novels exactly that what i was going to tell you because of the age you know that initially mm. i also did not like such kind of book i used to avoid it I avoid those kind of books but now i started to like this because it gives some kind of peace in our mind and sometimes mm. we uh, meet with some kind of incident so when we read this kind of book there are so uh-huh. many uh, solutions are there that one i told you that what you did with the crew members that you let it go so i have learned all these things from reading those books, books. actually yeah yes yeah and my dad is such he loves this motivational and spiritual books he has a library of books and he always recommends you know read it will help you it at one point of life you have to be prepared for it you have to prepare your mind for it so it is at least try to read one page a day it's going to help and he gives me like short books which are very thin at least try to complete these books they are going to help you <laughs> yeah i also do that only 3 4 pages i read every day mm. but you managed to complete the book right yeah yeah i managed to complete <laughs> and uh, yeah. regarding this uh, novel uh, who, who is your best author that you love to read i like chetan bhagat books yeah. then i like i thought, <laughs> <laughs> I thought i'm that sorry but be. yeah i like i like chetan bhagat books then i like uh, um what is it datta durjay datta if i'm right i like his books then i i used to like you know enid blyton and the famous five all those in my childhood i read all those books yeah basically this much that remains in my memory but i don't go for according to the author i just go on the title of the book and uh, the story line or the narrative that they give at the last page so i go through that and i choose i hardly remember the authors who have written them as long as the story is engaging i go for that Okay, okay. I also read uh, two or three books written by Chetan Bhagat. Uh, mm-hmm. Almost uh, this like films and some yes, movies yes. also have. Yes, yes. Are done. 
Yeah. Yeah, but it's all fictional, yeah. right? It is nice to imagine yeah. those things. That's it. And there is one author I like very much. Really, it's very simple. The writing is very simple, and the short stories are there. Some novels are also there. I like, mm -hmm. and that author happened to be from your uh, state, that Karnataka. So mm -hmm. you just guess who could it be? No idea. No idea. I'm no waiting idea. for the answer. No, no. <laughs> that is Sudha Murthy. Sudha Murthy. Okay, yeah, but I I don't know whether she writes novels and stories. Yeah. One is there, na? This dollar bahu I read that was very good. I I like that one. Dollar bahu. Yeah. Okay, so definitely I'll check it out. I didn't have any. I know Sudha Murthy. She writes books, but I didn't know she writes stories or novels. This genre of books. I thought she writes more like motivational or self help or parenting kind of books. She's no, very she good at parenting the, also. She right? writes short stories. Then mm. this novel. And again, she has written some incident that actually happened to her life. There are some very interesting incident happened to her life. That also she has uh, written in some book. Very interesting. Oh, okay. Yes, actually and her language is very simple, right? Simple, Anybody can simple. understand. Yes, yeah, it's very mm -hmm. simple. I'll definitely Once you check start, out. you just feel like feeling, uh, finish it. Finishing it. Like that, yeah. Mm. Thank you so much for recommending. I'll search for the and any sites that you know offer books at a considerable rate or where you can buy from bulk. Do you have any suggestions? Generally, I I did not uh, search much. Uh, whenever I need a book, I go to this Amazon and I buy from Amazon. there only. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, but some people get subscriptions or who are a lot, you know, very uh, what kind of you know they read books a lot. So those kind of people, they take some subscriptions or they have places for, they recommend places where, you know, there is exchange of books or something of that sort. So I just asked you. Yeah, yeah. There are uh, once uh, I came across one site, like they mm, sell old books at very nominal mm. Yeah. Mm, yes, I am in the, uh, on a hunt for such sites because, you know, they are secondhand. The book will get a second life. And you can also pass it on to somebody else rather than, you know, books are quite expensive to buy physically. And first thing when you're finished reading it, then they're just sitting in your library and doing nothing. So I just want and, to, you know, reuse. Yeah. And the uh, name of that uh, website uh, was very interesting also. Exactly. I don't remember, but it sounds like book chore or something like that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. I'll, I'll try. I'll try finding that. Right. If you have any more questions for me, you can ask. I'm really enjoying talking to you because we're talking about a lot of things. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, a few days back, I saw some of your videos and I found it very interesting. And then I thought that I would request you to have a session with me. So, you are very kind enough to give your special time to me. So, I'm really happy for that. Yes, because uh -huh. you you mentioned that you are free only during the weekends, right? Only Saturday, Sunday. So I thought, let me finish here because you, you just told I'm an elderly person and I have a very, I don't know what the word is called, thing for the elderly people. I don't like to keep them waiting for me. So I just thought immediately <laughs> I'll finish your session. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. actually uh, on weekdays I have office, so I cannot attend mm. during daytime. So only I am yes, available yes. in the evening or in the morning, say seven or eight, only these times are available. That's why. Mm -hmm. Those so timings are have... like very hectic for me because the household shows kids, so I can't do that. Yes, go ahead. You are asking me something. Yeah, while you giving your introduction, you said that you have worked for a company. That means you are no more uh, attached to that company? No, uh, uh, during my college days, I got placed in the campus interview. And I worked in Tech Mahindra, Bangalore. Tech Mahindra, wow, that's a very good company. Yes, yes. That is my only IT experience. I worked for that company. And after that, no, I had to relocate. And they kind of put me to Pune. And my parents were very orthodox. They didn't want me to leave the state. So I had to give up on that company. Later, I got married and it just lost. Okay, okay. So your mother tongue is uh, Kannada. Kannada, right. There is one uh, laddu, what is it? Ragi laddu? Uh, Ragi laddu? 
there are so yeah. many ladoos ragi ladoo besan ladoo shenga ladoo it is very popular in your thing. place yes 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 i came yeah, to so know much variety from the books of uh, sudha murthy she mentioned ah. about this shit <laughs> <laughs> she books teaches so much <laughs> Okay, okay. ma'am. So, if you want to ask anything, uh, I am very happy with the time that you have given me. And if you mm-hmm. want to ask anything, you can uh, ask, or you can uh, end the session here because you are also very busy with other things. Mm. Yes, yes. You know. Okay, okay. I I don't want to end end the session, but I have to because I have to go yeah. attend a function, and they are invited for lunch also. So I am just getting late for that. so yeah it was lovely very nice conversation with you i would love to connect with you again and gain a lot of knowledge from you so we'll do it again thank you. if you have when thank have you time. ma'am thank you very much for mm. your time once again bye thank have you bye bye have a good day bye. you too thanks bye